Hello and welcome to our new video log from another World Heritage Site. In this episode, we take a tour of the Tower of London, an internationally famous monument, an imposing fortress with many layers of history. Built in 1066 by William the Conqueror to protect London and assert his power, its buildings and grounds served historically as a royal palace, a political prison, a place of execution, an arsenal, a royal mint, a menagerie, and a public records office. It is located on the north bank of the River Thames and is one of the top sites to see in the city right in front of the majestic Tower Bridge. Tower Bridge lifts around 800 times a year and if you stay with us until the end of the video, you'll be able to catch a glimpse of this. So stay tuned. There are 21 towers in total at the Tower of London and the whole complex of buildings covers 18 acres. The outer curtain is surrounded by the moat, originally fed by the Thames but drained since 1843. By the 1840s the moat smelt so bad the Duke of Wellington was forced to drain it. In summer 2022, to mark the Platinum Jubilee of Queen Elizabeth II, the moat was filled with wildflowers grown from 20 million seeds. Each year, over 3 million visitors from around the world come to visit the tower. You can explore the castle and exhibits on your own, and audio guide tours in a choice of languages are also available to purchase with your ticket. The infamous entrance to the Tower of London, Traitor's Gate, is the Watergate entrance to the Tower of London complex and forms part of St Thomas's Tower. The gate was designed for King Edward I so he could arrive at the tower by river. In the preceding centuries, as the Tower of London increasingly came to be used as a prison for enemies of the state accused of treason, it acquired its current name of Traitor's Gate due to the number of prisoners accused of treason who have passed through it. Exhibited in the Lower Wakefield Tower are replicas of the instruments used for torture at the Tower of London in the 1500s and 1600s during a period of extreme political and religious upheaval. The Bloody Tower was where the renowned Elizabethan seaman and courtier Sir Walter Raleigh was imprisoned by James I for 13 years. Raleigh passed the long hours of his imprisonment writing books and poetry. A keen botanist, he cultivated a small garden in which he grew exotic plants and brewed his own medicines. He was released in 1616 to undertake an expedition to Guiana in search of El Dorado, the legendary city of gold, but later he was charged with treason and executed outside the Palace of Westminster in 1618.
The Waterloo Barracks is one of the main buildings of the inner court of the Tower of London, built to house up to 1,000 soldiers. The soldier outside is part of the garrison tradition, still active and guarding the tower today. The ceremonial public duty of the soldiers stationed here is to guard the crown jewels in the Queen's house on behalf of the monarch. Following their use in the coronation ceremony of their Majesties King Charles III and Queen Camilla in 2023, the regalia is back on display under armed guard in the treasury of the Jewel House. The White Tower, at the Tower of London, is the historic home of the Royal Armouries collection of arms and armour. There are many unique and extraordinary arms and armours on display, including the magnificent royal armours of Henry VIII. Charles I and James II. Also on display are other rare and superbly crafted pieces made for noblemen as well as common soldiers.
After all that arms and armors, if you need a few minutes of peace and quiet, visit the beautiful 11th century chapel of St. John the Evangelist located inside the White Tower. Over 900 years old, the chapel has had a unique history as a royal chapel and a national record office. It is now recognized as one of the finest examples of Romanesque architecture in the British Isle. The medieval palace was formerly the residential area of the tower. Edward I's bedchamber has been reconstructed using replicas based on original 13th century furnishings. Edward I installed the mint within the safety of the tower's walls. The mint was hot and noisy, with huge, fiery furnaces used to melt down the precious metals. Last but not least, don't forget to see the famous ravens at the Tower of London. Now, as promised at the beginning of the video, let's leave the Tower of London to go for a walk along the Thames to see the famous Tower Bridge. Operating as a working bridge for over 125 years, the Tower Bridge has stood over the River Thames since 1894 and is one of the most recognisable landmarks in the world. Tower Bridge is still a busy crossing of the Thames, used by more than 40,000 people every day. We'll leave you with the footage of the opening of the bridge and hope you enjoy. If you like the content of this video, please leave a comment, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.